barista and owner of Plaza District coffee shop Cafe Evoke, Jason Duncan has a passion for coffee. He knows all about it like a sommelier knows about wine. If there's 20 hands that touch coffee, which is the case in, the, in, in almost all instances, uh, you know, from the time that that coffee's planted to the time that, you know, you and I are, you know, drinking it here, um, you know, we're the, we're the 19th as a barista. I tell our guys, like, hey, don't cut corners. Like, you had 19 people, 18 people that just did their job perfectly. Don't screw it up. Today, Jason shares his passion and educates me about what makes great coffee so special, what are some of its varieties, and how is it made? So what we're doing right now is we're packing the uh, porta filter. We call it tamping. We lock this in once we do with that and turn it on. And what we're looking for is this to all drop at the same time. Kind of see the whole screen turns brown. Um, it'll kind of start one way and then actually kind of create uh, this one kind of cylindrical cone. This top part of the, of the espresso is called crema, which is this gold, the gold part. If you're looking at it in a clear cup, um, it'll be kind of like, it'll look like coffee at the bottom and have this kind of like these three different colors, like a, a, light, a dark color and a lighter color. The, the two parts on the top are the oils of the coffee, which we call the crema. What's happening is that this is the foam of the milk, what we call the microfoam, and that sits on top of the crema because it's the lightest portion of the drink. So the milk that's heavy goes to the bottom, the crema stays on top, so what we can do is kind of just lay out that foam. I think there's still a lot of people in the United States that kind of treat coffee as this, you know, morning, morning stop on the way to work, or this, you know, it's a hot day, so I'm gonna have a frozen one, or it's, I only drink it in the winter, but coffee's such a fun product. There's lots to do with it, and there's, um, lots to always learn and there's, you know, it's, it's a very specialty item um, and we take it seriously and that's been a really fun process to learn. I think there's this thing like, oh, we can't drink coffee, it's the summer. Um, and we think that's about as false as it comes. And that's kind of what we love telling people and teaching people is that coffee is not a singular season type of, type of option. It goes, for, it goes with everything. It's a ratio of coffee to, of ice water to coffee. We let it then brew between 12 and 16 hours, put it on the coffee, and what comes out of it is a really low acid acidity coffee. Really, really smooth, um, and a really, really refreshing summer, summer drink if maybe you don't want to do like a iced latte or an iced mocha. A little bit of dairy, and it ends up being a super, super awesome summer drink. So we tell everybody, you know, just because it's warm doesn't mean you have to stop drinking coffee. We call this the barista dance as far as like how the interaction between the machine and the grinder and the cups and all that kind of stuff. Barista and coffee aficionado Jason Duncan makes a living sharing his passion one cup at a time. <laughs>